Hello everyone, this is Vanilla and on my previous vlog, I showed you her ultrasound test result. If you haven't watched that video, I will put the link in the description box below and at the end of this video. Last night, we took her temperature at around 11 p.m. and as you can see, her temperature is already low. It's 37 degrees Celsius. So, we decided to provide a welcome box for her to stay. The next morning, I woke up because I heard her shout. This is what she looked like the moment I woke up. She's already shivering and panting. So, we decided to take her temperature again. As you can see, it is still low. So, we are certain that she will give birth anytime soon. This is the moment that we have been waiting for. She is now on labor and is about to give birth. As you can see, her tail is already facing down, which means that she is already feeling the pain of the contractions. Good thing she decided to stay in the whelping box. Actually, the signs of labor has been showing since yesterday, so we paid extra attention to her. A few minutes later, after staying in the whelping box, her amniotic sac began to emerge. This is where the water breaks happen. The first puppy is finally out. As each newborn puppy emerges from the birth canal, you will see that it is covered with a membrane called amniotic sac that must be removed in order for the puppy to breathe. Most mothers will instinctively do this by licking and biting at the membrane. If the mother does not remove the membrane within about 2 minutes, you will need to assist. You have to carefully rip open the amniotic sac. You have to know that the amniotic sac has two thin layers. After doing this, clip the umbilical cord using a forceps or an umbilical clamp. After clamping, cut the cord with sterilized surgical scissors for about an inch or two away from the puppy's belly. The cord should fall off on its own in a few days. After, gently rub the puppy with a clean towel. This is to dry the puppy up. Let's check the gender of the puppy. Vanilla's first puppy is a boy. It is also important to use the nasal aspirator to remove the fluid from the puppy's nose and mouth. This is to prevent the fluid from going into the puppy's lungs which could lead to pneumonia. Before letting the puppy drink the mother's milk, you need to wipe her nipples with a clean cloth. Now, let's check if the puppy knows how to drink from the mother's nipples. It is very important to do this because some newborn puppies does not know how to drink from the mother's nipple. Vanilla's first puppy is color white. For now, we don't see any markings from the puppy. Now, let's remove the umbilical clamp from the puppy. If you watched the video, of the ultrasound test result of vanilla, we mentioned there that the father of these puppies is a mystery. After removing the umbilical clamp, we placed the puppy inside the incubator. The minimum temperature in the incubator is 29.4 and the maximum temperature is 32.2 degrees Celsius. The good thing about the incubator is that it maintains and regulates the puppy's body temperature. Newborn puppies needs a certain body heat temperature during the first week of life. The temperature inside the incubator changes as they grow. Incubator is very helpful in making premature puppies survive. The puppies are generally born for about 45 to 60 minutes apart. Once you notice that the vulva enlarge, it means that she will give birth to another puppy. There are two normal birthing positions for a dog. A puppy can be born head first, around 60% of puppies are born this way, or with his tail and hind feet first, around 40% of puppies are born this way. It is equally normal for a puppy to be born with his tail and hind legs and feet emerging first. This is called the posterior presentation and rarely causes a problem. 
though the pup's elbows can get caught on his mother's pelvic rim. This is actually our first encounter in posterior presentation. Posterior presentation is different from breech presentation. The veterinarian estimated that there are around three puppies in Vanilla's stomach, but she informed us that there could be more. Vanilla's second puppy is also color white and has no markings. We really don't know how many puppies are inside Vanilla's stomach. As of now, she gave birth to two puppies. Just repeat the process and what we did in the first puppy. Now, it's time to check the gender of the puppy. Vanilla's second puppy is a female. Mucus can be cleared with the help of a nasal aspirator designed for human babies. The nasal aspirator can be used in the pup's mouth and then in its nostrils. There are other techniques to clear the airways but this is the most effective. The suction power should be low to avoid causing a spasm in the larynx and a drop in heart rate. It is critical that breeders ensure that all puppies are suckling as early as possible to ensure they receive the colostrum and also to prevent the risk of dehydration during the first few hours of life. The puppy receives energy from colostrum but also vital antibodies that help protect it from disease. It is important to guide every newborn puppy to a teeth if the mother does not do this herself. Warmth is one of the most important needs for the well-being of newborn puppies. From birth up to the age of 3 weeks, puppies are unable to regulate their temperature, making them very sensitive to cold. This is why most people prepare and buy incubators to ensure the safety of the puppy. Incubator plays a vital role in helping a newborn puppy regulate and maintain their body temperature. Vanilla is about to give birth to her third puppy and as you can hear she has been shouting from the pain that she has been feeling. And the puppy is out. So the first thing to do as soon as the puppy is out is to rip the amniotic sac open for the puppy to be able to breathe. Here, as you can see, Vanilla did not push the placenta out, which is why we are having a hard time cutting and clamping the umbilical cord. What we did here is we tried to pull out the puppy's placenta gently and carefully from Vanilla's vulva. Since it cannot be pulled out, we just clamped and cut the puppy's umbilical cord. In the few hours of life, the immediate needs of puppies are warmth, water, and energy. 50% of death at birth or death in the first few days after birth are due to puppy maturity or poor supervision during whelping. If you notice that the mother dog is shivering during whelping, it could be because of lack of calcium in the body. A clamp sa is a disease connected with the sudden drop in the mother's blood calcium levels after whelping. It requires treatment with calcium supplementation by a veterinarian. Newborn pups generally eat every 2-3 to three hours. Vanilla's third puppy is also color white and is a male. Let's wait and see if Vanilla will give birth to another puppy. Puppies should be fed while lying on their stomach. Other positions may cause them to choke. The temperature of the whelping box and incubator is especially important. Ideally, it should be approximately at 30 degrees Celsius during the puppy's first week of life with the temperature gradually declining as the puppy grows. We checked multiple times if there is still a puppy inside Vanilla's stomach and it turns out that there is no more puppy. This concludes that the estimated number of puppies inside Vanilla's stomach by the veterinarian during the ultrasound test is accurate. This is Vanilla and the Three Polar Bears. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.